Setting up Chime is easy and only takes a minute. To begin, plug your Chime in. Don't worry about choosing the perfect location, since you can move Chime after you set it up. In the Ring app, select Add Device, then select Chime, and proceed through the in-app setup process. You may notice that the light on the front of your Chime blinks rapidly when you first plug it in. After a few seconds, it should slow down. Before pressing Continue on the screen, make sure that you wait for your Chime to start blinking slowly. If the light on your Chime doesn't slow down, or if this Chime has been set up previously, you'll need to perform a reset. To reset your Chime, gently push the reset button on the side with a paper clip while it's plugged in, holding it down for five seconds. After releasing the reset button, you should see your Chime cycle from a rapidly flashing pattern to a slow pulse. You're now ready to continue with the in-app setup of your Chime. On this screen, select the devices you'd like your Chime to transmit alerts from, as well as the type of alerts you'd like to receive. Ring alerts sound like this. And motion alerts sound like this. Once you've set up your Chime successfully, take a look at the front light. It should blink rapidly a few times to indicate it has successfully joined your Wi-Fi network. Once the light on the front of your Chime illuminates solid blue and stays lit, it's ready to use. If it keeps blinking, then something may have gone wrong with your setup and you'll need to try again. If it continues to fail and you're sure you're entering your Wi-Fi password correctly, move your Chime closer to your router before attempting another setup. On the settings screen, you can change the volume of your chime, as well as push this button to play a test sound. Note that sometimes, right after being set up, your chime will perform an update of its internal software and may take a minute or two before it will sound any alerts. Once you're able to confirm your chime is successfully set up by triggering a test sound, you can unplug it at any time if you'd like to move it somewhere else. After plugging it in somewhere else, you'll notice that the light on the front flashes rapidly at first while it's searching for your network, then lights up solid blue once it's connected.